In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HNO3. This is sodium sulfite and nitric acid. And it's important to note that this nitric acid, this is concentrated nitric acid. If you had dilute nitric acid, you would get different products. There's a link in the description if you're dealing with dilute nitric acid. So here we're doing with concentrated. First thing we do, we need to balance the molecular equation. Looks like I have two hydrogens here and only one here. So I'll put a two and then I have two nitrogens, just one here. I'm going to put a two here. That seems to balance the oxygens and everything else is balanced. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we're going to write the state for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble. They'll dissolve in water. So this is going to be aqueous, split apart into the ions. Nitric acid, that's a strong acid. And here we're using concentrated nitric acid. This is going to dissociate into its ions, aqueous. Another sodium compound, that will also dissolve. This is going to be a gas. And then water is going to be a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Sodium is in group one on the periodic table. That'll be a one plus. The sulfite ion, that has a two minus. So we have two of these sodium ions. So two Na plus, I won't write the states each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus the sulfite ion, SO3, two minus. And then for hydrogen group one, has a one plus charge and the whole nitrate ion is one minus. Good one to remember. Two hydrogen ions and also we'll have two nitrate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation for the products. Sodium we said is one plus and the whole sulfate ion, another good one to remember, two minus. So two sodium ions again, just like in the reactants and then just the sulfate ion here and then for gases and liquids, we do not split those apart. So we have two of the N2O, nitrogen dioxide, plus the water, H2O. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. When I look at it, I see in the reactants, two sodium ions, and then in the products, two sodium ions. I'm going to cross those out. And everything else is unique. So that makes this the net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HNO3. Let me clean it up. I'll write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfite plus nitric acid. You can see that charge is conserved. If you add all the charges up, it'll equal minus two on this side. We have a minus two on this side. So charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Often we'll see the positive ion put first. Really doesn't matter. Might look a little bit nicer. But that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HNO3. And remember, we're dealing with concentrated nitric acid in this equation. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.